Okay, good morning everyone. So, uh, I'm gonna tell you an in-depth video about the lubes and details about how and why they work. So, um, historically people have been using silicones. It started in like, uh, back in the old days we used silicone spray and slowly we moved into silicone oils in 2009, 2010 and they really caught into like mainstream use in 2011. Like when that time happened, everyone was using like liquid silicones. Um, they used Lubix back then. Um, so I'm gonna tell you about the angstrom lubes and what makes them different. So we need to move forward and what we need to look at now is modified silicones. So uh, it all started a while back with the experiments at Cubicle Labs and one of those experiments led to Lubical Black, which is silicone with um, molybdenum disulfide. Even Lubical 1, but Lubical 1 was a different concept. It was extremely light and that was made for speed. It wasn't a really a true heavy silicone. So Angstrom Dignitas, uh, that's the fast one. That's a metal nitride that is like submicron particles. These particles are really, really small. And these particles have very, very low friction. And when you combine that with the high viscosity and uh, the thickness of the silicone, you get speed and smoothness. Um, after a while, you get more speed than smoothness, but it's still better than using just a straight up light silicone. To be able to get the benefits of both worlds, that's what modified silicones are. I think that in the future, people should be engineering these things by finding out the best additives to go with the silicone for all the things you want. So there needs to be something for people who like gummy, people who like fast, smooth, crispy, loud, crunchy. There needs to be something for everyone. And let's start it off here. So that's why I wanna start off these things using my degree in chemistry. And then the other lube is Angstrom Gravitas. And I'm using Latin names because I, I really like that language. But uh, Gravitas is similar in the fact that it has nanoscale particles. These particles are really, really small. You can't see them with your eyes. And when you get them that small, you get a really even spread and it doesn't feel like sand in your cubes. And Gravitas is the complete opposite of Dignitas. These particles actually have like pretty high friction. Um, it's a metal oxide and the friction, you would think that's really bad, right? But because it's nanoscale, it's like infinitesimally small friction. When you combine that with really, really, really high viscosity, I'm talking like one or two orders of magnitude above, I'm talking million centistrokes. When you combine it with silicone that thick, you end up with a really, really, really gummy loop. Um, the third portion of um, angstrom gravitas is actually to reduce friction and makes it so you can apply it to the center. Um, that, that third part is a bit of a trade secret. But this three-part combination of extremely high viscosity, million centistroke silicone with the infinite, really, really, really small particles of abrasive, which won't wear down your cube. If anything, abrasive at that level will actually polish the cube. Uh, if you would think like silver polish, silver polish is actually really, really tiny particles of similar nature, but these particles are like a whole order of magnitude smaller. So you get micro friction that slows down the cube without damaging it because it won't cut deep into the cube. Um, it just it sits at the surface and slows it down. Um, that's Gravitas. Now, a lot of you might say, this looks like Vaseline. Well, for the middle part of this video, we're gonna set them both on fire and see what happens. Um, as you'll see, Vaseline being a hydrocarbon gives off, um, if I think correctly, it should be a red flame with black smoke, and Gravitas being an inorganic, it shouldn't combust at the same temperatures. Uh, we're talking at like, um, combustion difference of 200 Celsius. Uh, that doesn't matter to the flame, but we will see, and I will show you that the color of the flame will be different, and I am not selling you Vaseline. So, uh, we'll go into that next part now. And we'll end this video with a, a more detailed, in-depth way of how to use it, where to apply, and how to, just how to be careful with it. All right, so we're in my backyard. This is Vaseline. This is the color of Vaseline. This is Angstrom Gravitas. This is the color of Angstrom Gravitas. You can see that the color is different. Not only that, but we're gonna burn it. Paper, we're gonna put that in, get it 
get the gravitas on it. So let's get a little bit more for better effect. All right, that's gravitas. And uh, let's tear off a similar portion, like this, and put that in the Vaseline. Now, let's see what happens when we burn it. As you can see, um, it's, uh, the paper is burning on the Gravitas. And as you can see, vivid red smoke, black flames. And uh, over there, much smaller flame. It is not consuming the Gravitas. That's simply paper burning. Gravitas is not as, I wouldn't say not as flammable because if you heat it up to like a few hundred degrees Celsius, it will burn, but it's not as flammable as you see the Vaseline. The Vaseline being a hydrocarbon, it's, it's, once it catches flame, it's gonna keep burning until all of it runs out. And as you can now definitively see, I am not selling you Vaseline. Uh, it, it's it's in similar consistency, not even similar consistency once, once you feel it, but as you can see from the flame test, this is not a flammable substance at normal conditions because it is an inorganic, and this is a highly flammable hydrocarbon. So, uh, there you go. Gravitas versus Vaseline. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use the Angstrom lubes. Uh, this is a uh, uh, some Rubik cube. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use the loop. So, uh, we're going to unbox this cube. It's a uh, stickerless. Please be the Drew Brad's card. Oh, it's Leaf Man. Leaf Man. Because you can see he's got the photoshopped leaves on him. <laughs> Looking like a Pokemon gym leader. Uh, but no, I, that's Jayu. I met him in person. He's an amazing guy. Um, so, first you disassemble the cube. And then I uh, respond to some messenger messages. And then... Uh, you un undo one piece. And then here are the angstrom lubes. And then the angstrom lubes come with a small dent, like this is a medical dental brush, uh, either field. And uh, the tip is really small, but it's soft. And uh, you can use this for things. So the first thing I advise is this is Gravitas. Gravitas is the thicker lube. It's very gummy. And when I buy, by gummy, I mean it's very gummy. Two orders of uh, magnitude, like million, one million center strokes. And I would advise using this in small amounts. However, this is a brand new, fresh cube. I'm going to be a little generous with it. So what I like to do is I get the gummy lube on the inside. And maybe that's a little too generous, but like I said, this is a brand new cube. And new cubes can uh, they can get, get a lot more lube without like being too slow. But if this if your cube is um, if it's not new, I would advise not using so much. And then the core, I would actually recommend lubical black. But um, that's what engineering textbooks say, and there's a lot of science research that says molybdenum disulfide is better for that. Um, but for the for the inner parts, like the, the feet of the corners and the edges, I like to have a gummy lube for control. So next up is the Dignitas. This is the faster lube. You'll notice it's very, very thick at first. And um, that's because there's a lot of particles in there, like nanoscale particles, that create a thixotropic effect. And that means that um, this is non-Newtonian. So when you apply shear, it actually will get thicker. Um, you'll notice sometimes it'll settle out. Um, this one hasn't settled out, but you might notice it's a little, you might see some flex. That's because it aggregates together, and if you see that, just stir it up. 
and then once you stir it up, uh, scrape it on the sides. And with this, you want to be very sparing. So like I said, this will break in, and once it breaks in, it's a very fast lube. So get that on the pieces, on the uh, friction bearing surfaces. So I'm just painting it on the surfaces that I know are in contact with each other. And you don't have to be that consistent because when you put this back into the cube, it'll go back around. So I'm going to put that down. Once you're done, you can uh, the bristles on the brush are pretty resilient and it is reusable. It, this, think of it as like a really resilient Q-tip that can be reused and is also very accurate. It doesn't fray like a Q-tip and that's because these fibers are rated for medical use. So once I've painted one piece, I put it back into the cube. And then I uh, just work it in. There we go. So right now it's still in the gummy phase. I'm working the gummy lube into the cube and the pieces have been hit by this faster lube. And um, I'm not sure if I said this before because I'm recording this over multiple days, but the whole point of the faster lube is that um, a lot of the quote unquote fast lubes that exist on the market right now are light silicones. And because they're so light, they feel. they have a certain feeling to them. That was a bad solve. Um, but this, it's a combination of fast and smooth. And you had to break it in to get to that point. Um, one of the people who have used it to really good effect is Ishan Agarwal. Like, the crazy blind man. Like, he is really, really good at blind. And he said some really nice things about the lube, so I really appreciate it. But, um, if you have questions, you can come to him. He's really friendly to newcomers and... Uh, just an all-around really nice guy. So, yep, that is how you use these lubes. Be very sparing about it. Use small amounts and work up to the, to the desired effect. So, this cube could actually use a little bit more because it's a brand new cube. Brand new cubes, can you can use a little bit more, um, but if your cube already has lube, you should be a little bit more careful and add it very slowly. It's like just small amounts, paint it on, and wipe the brush off when you're done and then close the caps when you're done and uh, I've had some questions about like can I mix this lube yeah of course um, this is a silicone based lube um, a modified silicone so it totally mi mixes with other silicones if you want to so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you see me at a competition uh, I can let you try for free I'll give you some for free uh, I gave out some samples at Berkeley um, I don't mind sharing at all. So, until next video, see you guys.